A jellyfish is a single, unisex animal with a jelly-like body and numerous tentacles. They are primitive creatures that have lived in the ocean for 600 million years and have no eyes, nose, ears, brain, or heart. It appears to swim in repetitive motions, but it's very weak, so it mostly just lets the current carry it along. Its main food is plankton and small fish. It grabs its prey with its tentacles, paralyzes it with its venomous sting, eats it in its mouth, and excretes it back into its mouth. Natural enemies include sunfish and sea turtles, which are said to be resistant to jellyfish venom, rendering stinging attacks ineffective. Jellyfish are prolific and ubiquitous in the ocean, making them an important part of the marine ecosystem. Jellyfish have a fluorescent protein in their bodies that gives them a mysterious glow. This protein is a valuable research material in the genetic engineering world. Thousands of jellyfish are caught off the coast of the United States each year and sent to laboratories. The jellyfish's venom is deadly to humans. Of all the sea creatures, jellyfish cause the most casualties. If a swarm of jellyfish shows up, the beach is immediately closed. Each jellyfish's venom varies in strength, with some causing little more than an itch. While others can sting and kill within five hours. Global warming and coastal pollution are driving subtropical jellyfish to South Korea's shores, and the country's fisheries industry has a lot to worry about. It may seem simple enough to catch them all and sell them as food, but out of hundreds of jellyfish species, only four are edible. The fish better known as Nemo than clownfish is today's clownfish. The orange and white stripes on its body make it look like a clown's costume to most people. In the West, they're known as clownfish. It is also called anemone fish because it lives together with anemones. In Korea, it is called clownfish because of its characteristic white vertical stripes on its body.
Clownfish live in symbiosis with anemones in shallow coral reef waters. Normally, a single anemone is home to a group of clownfish. There's something unusual about our friends, clownfish families are strictly matriarchal. She's the biggest one, and if she dies, one of the males in the group switches sexes with her. This is because it's more advantageous for one of the males in the brood to switch sexes on his own than to find a female elsewhere. They are known to lay 700 to 800 eggs at a time, but the hatching rate is quite low. Clownfish are also immune to the anemone's venom, making it possible for them to live in symbiosis. The mysteries of nature are amazing, aren't they?